All right, everybody. Today we're going to shoot a follow-up video to one I did the other day where I showed you a comparison between the API test kit and the CCAM test kit, which we are going to use today in a moment. But in the API test, the way I did it, I did not thoroughly shake the sample after adding the second reagent. I simply took it and inverted it several times for nearly a minute. Uh, a couple of my viewers pointed out, and I did double check, they are correct. It says in the instructions to shake that vial vigorously. So we're going to do a comparison today. We're going to see if the way I did it uh, comes up any different than the way the instructions say to do it. I always recommend doing it the way the instructions say to do it. But I was taught how to do this test by inverting it and not shaking it. And the reason I invert it and not shaking it is because, first of all, you should always use these caps and not your finger. But they're not super tight seals and when you shake vigorously you tend to get a lot of this stuff on you and on the outside of the vial etc so today we're going to give a little bit of a additional shake here to the second bottle since I did shake it before we started this video um, but this is full of suspended solids so they need to be mixed thoroughly before you actually use it if it's been sitting on the shelf for a while you really need to mix it thoroughly because it will actually cake in the bottom and you really really need to get that evenly dispersed throughout the liquid I do not believe however hold on a moment let me count here you need to do 10 drops I do not believe, however, that once these drops are in the solution, it needs to be shaken vigorously for one minute. I think as long as it stays in motion for one minute. So we are going to do this for one minute, and then we're going to do another one, and I'm simply going to invert it for one minute, and we're going to watch them bloom together. And I know I can't do them simultaneously because I'm not coordinated enough to rock gently with one hand while shaking vigorously with the other. I already tried it. Uh, so we're gonna do this one for a minute, we're gonna set it down, and we're gonna prepare the next one real quick, and we're gonna get them as close together as we can, and then we're gonna let them sit for five minutes. But while I've got you for a few moments, watching me shake my hand for another 29 seconds, um, I'm testing some water that I brought home from the fish store today. I went and got a few more otocinclus while they were still on sale and I got a couple of more African dwarf clawed frogs to go in a couple of my tanks while they were still on sale. And whenever I bring water home from the fish store I always like to check the water. And we're not really going to do a big video about that today necessarily but I will tell you in just a moment once I get done with this vial what I check for. So that is one minute a vigorous shaking. Now we will do the same test and even though it's only been one minute I still feel it necessary to give another additional thorough shake to the second test bottle of nitrate solution. So this vial, if I can find the cap to it, which I cannot, no, I already put it on. <laughs> so we are going to do this for one minute, and we are going to see if this makes any difference. So what I check for when I bring my fish home from the fish store is general hardness, carbonate hardness, and the pH, and I usually check the dissolved solids. And if you think your store water is the same every time you bring it home, the last time I brought it home it had ammonia in it, and I did not check for ammonia yet today, but I will. Um, the general hardness was one degree harder the last time I looked at it. The carbonate hardness was two degrees harder, and the pH was actually a little bit different. And my total dissolved solids were 50 uh, parts per million different than the test I had done uh, last week on the same store. So their water fluctuates quite a bit from trip to trip uh, in the fish store. So we are down to the last few seconds of doing this and you can see the water in these vials is already starting to change color and this is going to be water from the fish store. So I will be back in five minutes and we will have a look at them and see how much different they are. Alright everybody there is five minutes and to my eye I cannot tell a difference. I cannot tell which one of those vials I shook vigorously and I cannot tell which one of those vials I inverted gently. So as I suspected it doesn't really matter as long as you keep that stuff suspended in solution 
for one minute after you've mixed them, you'll be fine. Now, I'm not actually going to worry about comparing these because I can see how orange it is. It's not a very high number at all. And again, this is not my water. This is the water uh, the animals came home from in the fish store today. So we're sitting right around 20 parts per million, maybe a little less than that. Um, but I do want to make a note that it is important that you always hold the vial against the paper card. Uh, you want to get it under a nice brightly lit, sorry you can't see that, but you want to get it somewhere with a nice bright light shining on it, but you don't want light coming through from behind it. So you want it against the card. Uh, I have not only been told this by professionals, but I actually cut right to the chase and called Mars Industries, who is the parent company to API, and uh, according to their customer support people, this is the correct way to do it. Um, don't hold it up to the window, don't hold it against a white background like that. You want to hold it against the card and then match the color as best you can uh, to it. So there you go, that was the difference. I still recommend if the instructions say to shake vigorously, then you probably should shake vigorously. I'm not one for ignoring instructions. However, I just pretty much demonstrated that if you don't shake vigorously, you get absolutely identical results. So there you go. Hope that was helpful for somebody. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I do all sorts of videos, and I'm always tinkering with something, so you never know what you're going to get. So thanks for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you real soon on the next one.